Now let's pay attention to the quasi-static process and understand this in you know great detail. So before I talk to you about the quasi-static process, we need to understand what is equilibrium. Now there are three kinds of equilibrium we need to know. The first kind of equilibrium is thermal equilibrium, the second is chemical equilibrium and the third is mechanical equilibrium. Now what do you understand by chemical equilibrium? Equilibrium in a nutshell means balance. Okay. Now what do we understand by thermal equilibrium? Thermal equilibrium means that the temperature difference between two bodies is zero. Both the bodies or you know, you know you can have any number of bodies. They are all at same temperature. So the delta T is zero. There is no temperature difference between the bodies. Okay. Or between the systems. Now chemical equilibrium means now for a chemical reaction to take place you have a set of reactants and from these reactants you get a set of products. Now from reactants to products this is the forward reaction. So the rate at which this forward reaction takes place you have the backward reaction taking place at the same rate that is from products to reactant that is the backward reaction. So the rate of forward reaction when it becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction then it becomes a case of chemical equilibrium. Okay. Now we come to the third kind of equilibrium that is mechanical equilibrium. In a mechanical equilibrium there are no unbalanced forces in any direction. So sigma fx is 0, sigma fy is 0 and even if you are having a three dimensional uh, you can say study of forces then even sigma f z is zero. There are no unbalanced forces in the system. Okay. Now when you have all these three equilibria coexisting simultaneously when you have in a system the coexistence of thermal equilibrium, chemical equilibrium and mechanical equilibrium then the system is said to be under thermodynamic equilibrium. So this is a very very important uh, point to understand over here. So when you have thermal plus chemical plus mechanical it gives rise to thermodynamic equilibrium. Thermodynamic equilibrium. So if somebody asks you to define a thermodynamic equilibrium well it is a combination of or coexistence of thermal chemical and mechanical equilibrium in a system. Okay. Now after having understood the concept of equilibrium, now let us move on to understand the Cauchy static process. So for that let us have a piston cylinder arrangement over here. So this is the cylinder and this is the piston. Okay. On top of the piston you have some small small weights placed on this piston. Okay. And you have some gas which is trapped inside this piston cylinder space. Now what happens is you remove one weight or before I remove that let us assume that at this particular uh, you can say condition the state of the system is at state 1. So at this particular state the pressure is P1 and the volume is V1. Okay. Now I will remove the first weight. When you remove the first weight, what will happen? The pressure will decrease okay, and the volume will increase. So uh, let, let, let us uh, redraw this uh, position a bit. So let me move it up. So you will have high pressure. So this is high pressure, pressure 1. Okay. So when you remove the top weight, the pressure would reduce a bit and the volume would increase a bit. Okay. So this piston will have a new position and let us say that position is not very far, it does not move a very long distance, it is just this much. So this is the new position of the piston which is not very considerable, this is a very very small distance through which the piston is moved. So this is not even this much, this is very very small. Okay. So let us say the pressure has dropped this much and uh, the volume has dropped. So this is the new condition. This is the new state. Okay. Then you remove 
another weight on top a little bit you know more uh, upward travel is there so you come to this particular state okay so when you keep on removing these weights your piston will keep on moving upwards so you will get a process which is of this sort let us say at two okay now the great thing about this is that every intermediate state that you achieve so at the beginning that is state one your system is under thermodynamic equilibrium there is nothing happening in the system now when you remove the first weight on the top you have an intermediate state which is this at this intermediate state also your system is under thermodynamic equilibrium so every intermediate state that your system achieves is under thermodynamic equilibrium so this is a property or a characteristic of a quasi static process that every intermediate state that is achieved is under equilibrium all right now how do you achieve equilibrium if you want to have equilibrium attained at each and every intermediate state then the process has to be carried out very 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 slowly or i would say infinitesimally slowly okay so this brings us to the definition of a quasi static process so a quasi static process is that process in which all the intermediate states are at equilibrium and the process is carried out infinitesimally slowly okay so i hope you understood the concept and the uh, understanding of the quasi static process and more importantly you understood what is equilibrium and the concept of thermodynamic equilibrium that is the coexistence of these three equilibriums in a particular system now let's move on to the next topic altogether now this brings us to the end of the introductory part of the subject of thermodynamics in the next video onwards we go to the very first uh, of the laws of the subject of thermodynamics that is called the zeroth law of thermodynamics in which we will start talking about temperature and its measurement because zeroth law of thermodynamics basically forms the basis of temperature measurement so now let's move on to the next series of videos in which we start discussing about the zeroth law of thermodynamics